Hello, my name is Ara Donavidian, and I am working with Camp Carlisle to help spread awareness about sickle cell disease. It's time for you to help too, but just watch this video right here. The William E. Proudford Sickle Cell Fund is dedicated to helping this cause. It is an organization founded in William E. Proudford's honor. His family helped to develop the organization when he died in 2004 due to the disease. Their mission is to educate people about the disease and to promote awareness early on in the course. Their goal is to find a life-saving cure and they want to bring hope to families struck by this disease. You can help. Please see this link to help in any way that you can. The following is a very powerful video about a child who has this disease and it shows how it affects him and the people around him. Eight more to go, okay. <laughs> Joseph was about eight and a half months old when he had his first sickle cell crisis. His hands would be so swollen, his feet would be so swollen, and he'd just hate to even be moved, couldn't even touch him. Joseph's problems were as severe as any young child with sickle cell anemia could be. He was hospitalized quite frequently during his entire first year of life. He required strong narcotic medications and many blood transfusions to treat his disease. The blood transfusion Joseph received and the pain medicine did uh, help him get him back to normal, so to speak, to get him back home, but that was just a temporary fix till the next event came. We thought about a stem cell transplant. Unfortunately, we could not find a donor. We didn't know what to do. We were desperate. We called the doctors on several occasions to ask them, you know, what's going on? Do we have a match? Do we have a match? And the answer was always no. When Darlene became pregnant, we became guardedly optimistic that the new baby might potentially be a match for Joseph. I see me. Do you see me? I knew when I got pregnant it was a miracle. I didn't know how I was going to get my child healed. I really did not know. But I know core blood. Save my son's life. Where's the man? Here and here. Yes. Joseph now essentially lives a normal life, and he is treated as any other child would be out in the world. If Joseph would not have gotten this transplant, I'd hate to think of where he would be, having all of the problems that he had, but more than likely he may not even be here today. He will be in and out of the hospital right now. He won't be able to go to school, basically. I'd be homeschooling him. Um, he won't be able to play with his, you know, friends. I'm able to go around telling people that core blood saved my son's life and also ask people, have you saved your core blood? I believe African Americans fail to realize the seriousness and the benefits of saving core blood. Sickle cell anemia affects millions of people worldwide and healthcare industry is really uh, taking a hit when it comes down to people being hospitalized with the disease. This is very, very important to me and this comes from my heart because I had a child with sickle cell disease. That if we can just educate people that it can be cured, we feel that a lot of people's quality of life would really be improved. I think Isaac is like Superman, saved my life with his cord blood. Follow the link shown earlier in the video to see how you can help.